Uh, you must be wondering uh, what is this all about. Uh, actually, I was thinking uh, that a perfect key for this lock will enable us to unlock any doors on earth we want, isn't it? Similarly, an effective communication is that perfect key which helps us to unravel, unbolt innumerable doors of opportunities both in our personal as well as in our professional life. But what is an effective communication? Hi everyone, I'm Ipshita and today I will try to explain it in my own ways what is an effective communication. Hope you like it. So let's start. Um, uh, we all know uh, that a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. Simple, straight, direct, to the point, crisp, yet effective. Similarly, an effective communication is just like that straight line. Simple, straight, direct, to the point, yet effective. And effectively connecting the speaker, the point one, with the point two, that is with his or her audience effortlessly. But uh, why is that so? Because uh, to the point, a direct, a simple communication helps your audience to grasp your ideas uh, in, in a much more uh, effective manner, with much more ease. They can connect with you, they can relate with your speech in a better way, as well as it helps to ward off misunderstandings, uh, unwanted emotional burden, and most importantly, it saves our precious time. Um, uh, do you um, remember the famous quote of Albert Einstein regarding this uh, effective communication where he said, if you can't explain it simply, then you don't understand it well enough. But how to understand something well enough? This leads to our second point. That is, to be an effective communicator, first you have to be an active listener because active listening helps you to gain knowledge to understand the listener's perspective, his needs when he or she is conveying uh, his or her thoughts or her doubts, uh, his or her queries, his or her questions when he or she is acting as a speaker, as well as it helps uh, you to display your respect towards uh, the speaker as well uh, when he or she is speaking, that you value the speaker. Now, we all want to be treated uh, in a very pleasant manner. But for that, the first step we need to take, right? We have to display or we have to treat others in the way we want to be treated by them, right? So this leads to our um, third point, that is humility, which has two aspects. The first one is, as a speaker, we can definitely be wrong and it's perfectly all right. This helps you to present more confidently, and it helps you to keep an open mind uh, towards, you know, opposing thoughts, ideas, comments, uh, not being judgmental, not being linguistic, yet displaying your willingness to learn from others, learn new ideas, right? Enrich yourself with new ideas from new people. And the second aspect of humility is that it's all about your audience and it's not about you. You have to understand why your audience will listen to you. How will you make them listen to you? What are the informations you need to share with them so that they can relate to it better, right? It, it does not appear uh, as if it's some unwanted burden or unwanted information for your audience, as well as what are the takeaways you can offer to them. So it's not uh, necessary that whatever is sounding best to your ears will be effective for your audience. So first you have to keep your listener's perspective in mind always before you start your speech. And the last but not the least thing is your presence, your aura, your intonation, your voice modulation, your presence. Because, you know, disinterested, mundane voice, right, a flat tone, a disengaged body language, a closed body language, an arrogant body language uh, creates hindrance between you and your audience. So we can definitely conclude that uh, communication is just uh, like an art, right? Uh, it helps us to win millions and thousands of hearts all over the world, isn't it? And we all know that an art can never ever be rigid. It always flows naturally, right? So before being uh, an effective communicator, first we have to master the art, how, to, how we can navigate our speech as per the purpose, as per the situation, as per the people, because no two people are same, right? As per the needs. Uh, well, I am. Uh, I have decided that uh, I will be applying it in my day-to-day -day conversation uh, from now onwards. What about you?